Tell you what, when I was a little boy, I was lost and on my way to hell. But you know what? Jesus saw my condition. Oh, right, brother. Praise God. I tell you what, I don't have to die and go to hell tonight because of what he done for me. Hey, he seen, he seen my need. He seen what I needed. He said, I'll go to the cross. He told his father. He said, Father, I'll go to the cross. I'll die for that young man right there. Hey, praise God. I know I ain't got to go to hell tonight because of what he done uh, some 2,000 years ago. And if you can't get excited about tonight, uh, man, I'm telling you, something's wrong with you. You better get in this altar. You better say, God, you better cry out tonight and say, I need what you got tonight. Because I tell you, he's standing there with open arms tonight. He said, I got what you need. All you got to do is come down and bow. You can get saved in your seat. I tell you, like the young man did this morning, hey, the Holy Ghost will deal with your heart. And when he deals with it, you better do something about it. Because, praise God, it might be too late. Hey, I tell you, when Jesus deals with your heart, I tell you, he's saying, come now. Come now. Don't put it off. Uh, don't wait too late. There's going to be a many people when the church is gone. You know what's going to happen? It's going to be too late. And they're going to say, you know what? I wish I'd have went to the altar and got saved. Hey, I tell you, there's many people sit on the church pew. But we seen it down there for three weeks in revival. What happened? Church members got saved because they were lost. Hey, they was putting on a front. And well, you know what? You can't put on a front. Because when you stand before the Almighty God, hey, you know what? It's going to be too late. You're going to stay there. I did many things in your name. But you know what? It's too late then. You better do something about it tonight. I tell you, Jesus is knocking. And I didn't get up here to say this tonight, but bless God. I tell you, he wanted to say it because I wouldn't have said it. I ain't going to say nothing if God don't want to say it. I tell you what, many a times we sit back. Boy, I tell you what, we sit back. We don't let go and let God have his way. I tell you, I've done it many a times. And every, each and every one of us sitting on the church pew tonight. How many times? I know Brother Johnny got everybody to stand up a while ago. But how many times we sit on that church pew and we didn't go to someone and it was too late? That person might have died and went on to heaven or they might have went to hell. How many times have we come across somebody and we didn't witness to them? I tell you, we're all guilty of tonight, church. I tell you what, we ought to be on fire for God. Hey, I'm telling you, these last days, we better witness to people. We better tell them, hey, young people tonight, let me tell you, you go to school, you know what you better do? You better be on fire because I'm telling you, they're watching your life each and every day. Hey, if you can't live true, you better get it right tonight because I'm telling you, they want somebody that's true, somebody that's living right. I'm telling you tonight, it's because of the blood of Jesus. It's not nothing i done. It's not nothing you done tonight. But it's because of the cross. Hey, when he shed that blood on the cross, hey, it's for eternity. It was for all, all that would come. Oh, I tell you what. We sit back so many times. I'm talking about me tonight, church. We sit back, we get burned out. And we say, I don't want to do it no more. But I'm going to tell you, it's like old Jeremiah said, Brother Johnny, there's a fire in my bones. Hey, if you're born again Christian, you know what? You got fire in your bones tonight. You're not dead. You're alive. Woo! If you can't shout about that, there's something wrong. Hey, when we get to heaven... All of us as a church, you know what? I think we're going to go back and say, hey, you remember that night? Brother Joe, you remember that night? Hey, you remember the night you got saved? That's something you're going to never forget. If you can't remember the night, there's something wrong. You ought to remember the night you got saved. Hey, I remember it. It was during revival. I never will forget you know, I've heard that many times, Brother Johnny, about the sheriff arresting your soul. But you know what? It's the Holy Spirit. I tell you, he dealt with my heart. I'll never forget, I sit on the back row of the church. And I'll tell you, I was under arrest. And I've seen cops put handcuffs on people's arms. But I'll tell you what, Brother Jeff, that night I knew I was lost. And on my way to hell, and I did something about it. Hey, I wanted to run out the back door, but I'm glad I did, Brother James. I'm glad I run down to the front and got saved that night. Whew. 
And I haven't been the same since then. You know what? Young people, let me tell you something tonight. Older people too. I never took any drugs in my life. Never drank any alcohol. And I ain't saying this because I'm perfect or nothing like that. Listen to me what I'm trying to tell you tonight. I didn't need all that stuff. You don't need all that stuff. If anybody's dealing with that tonight, you don't need it. You know what you need? You need a dose of the Holy Ghost. You need a dose, something that'll fill you up. Something that it, 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 a drug can't do it tonight. Alcohol can't do it tonight. But I'll tell you what, when that Holy Ghost gets inside, you know what? You'll tell a difference. It'll make a difference in your life. I tell you what, you'll be able to shout. You'll be able to praise God. There won't be no shame there. It'll do something to you, Brother James, like the moonshine never would. I tell you, there's people in this church that's been through things. And I tell you what, cancer can't bring you down. Drugs can't bring you down. Alcohol can't bring you down. But I tell you what, the devil will try tonight. But I'm glad Jesus is better. All you got to do is turn it over to him. If you'll lay it all at his feet tonight, I tell you what, he can take care of every need. We just don't trust him enough. We don't trust him enough, church. I tell you what, them Corinthians, they, they dealt with a lot of things. And I tell you, we deal with a lot of things today. But there's nothing that God can't handle. All we got to do is lay it at his feet. He's there with open arms saying, come to me. All the year, heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Brother Johnny, that's all I got. I was going to call. Oh, amen. <laughs> Won't you come say what the Lord wants you to say? Really, I felt like it. Well, I didn't come to preach tonight. I've been under the weather a little bit. I'm, I know everybody's having problems with science and stuff, but. Anytime I can stand behind the pulpit and uh, just lift up the name of Jesus, I want to do it because of what he did for me. I tell you, the message that we heard this morning on Job, I mean, like Job said, we all go through it. And if you don't think, and even Brenda spoke on it, if you don't think the devil don't want you doing what God wants you to do, just give it a try. You get in church, you start doing, you take a position in church, whether it's teaching Sunday school, or preaching God's word, right. or being faithful to God's house. Right. You don't think the devil ain't going to black your eye? Oh, yeah. Hey, he's going to come out to you. He's going to, I mean, he's going to hit you with two before across the face, and you ain't going to know what happened. Hey. You're going to say, why did that happen to me? Hey, if Job could, could go through it, and if God's people can go through it, then what makes you think you can't go through it? Hey, the devil's going to beat you down. He don't like what you're doing. Because you know what? He knows what his end's going to be in the end time. Hey, it ain't going to be long. I tell you, every time I get up here, I, get, I don't know why I get to talking about the church, but I've been studying over in uh, Second Corinthians. Hey, uh, over there, I'm telling you, when the church, it's going to take the church to get through this. And you ain't going to get there any other way. Hey, the world can't get there unless they go through the church. Hey, it's the church from the, hey, from the very beginning to the end. It's going to be the church. Hey, and when the church is gone, what is the world going to do? Hey, you know, they're going to be going to the church still. There's going to be a lot of people going to church. You know what? The Spirit of God ain't going to be there. Hey, we're going to be gone, church. Hey, hey, something to get excited about tonight. Hey, I go to a ball game and get excited, but there's one thing about it. When I get to God's house, when the Holy Spirit shows up, hey, I know I'm going somewhere one day. And